Yes, ma'am. Senator McCain, you had said that you will never surrender in Iraq. What does surrender mean to you? It's a two-part question. Our economy is being battered from every side, and the dollar today is weaker compared to other world currencies. Do you see this policy of non-negotiating and no surrender hurting the economy further? Well, what I, what I believe would lead, if we set a date for withdrawal, and as Senator Obama tried to do on a number of occasions, in fact, he, his original proposal, all of our troops would have been out of Iraq uh, this past March. Uh, then, with us gone, there would be increased Iranian influence, there would be civil war, different Shiite militias and others. Al-Qaeda, I believe, would have been able to reestablish a base. And the whole region, because other nations in the region would believe that they have to protect their particular interests, that you would see a chaotic situation. And by the way, that's the view of General Petraeus as well as others. So it wouldn't, maybe surrender is not exactly the word that some people want to hear. But let me, put a, let me put it this way. There would be catastrophic consequences. We've already made enormous sacrifices, enormous sacrifices, more than 4,000 brave young Americans, more than 4,000. And I'd like to assure you, men, that no one hates war more than the veteran. I know war. I hate war. Nothing is more, is more painful than the death of a comrade. And those of us who have experienced that want to do everything we can to avoid war. And if I didn't believe that if we'd done what Senator Obama and others wanted done, after four years of that, if they, if they had done what they wanted done, then it would have been greater sacrifice and of our most precious treasure. So I can tell you that it is succeeding. I can look you in the eye and tell you it's succeeding. We have drawn down to pre-surge levels. Basra, Mosul, and now Sadr City are quiet, and it's long, and it's hard, and it's tough, and there will be setbacks, but I can assure you that if we took the other option, as espoused by Senator Obama, after visiting Iraq one time, one time, never asking for a private meeting and briefing from General Petraeus, remarkable, a person who has no experience our background, our judgment on issues of national security wouldn't even ask General Petraeus for a meeting and, and listen to, to, to his views on, on this conflict that we are in. So I just want to, I, I want to assure you, and I understand your concern and I understand your question. I'd be glad to let you follow up if you give her the microphone back because this is a very important issue and I'll be glad to let you follow up. Well, thank you, for uh, Senator McCain, for, uh, for that uh, comment. But I know that uh, you know, many of us have lost family members, and again, we feel that the state of the economy, the war has been a big factor on our economy. And uh, no surrender and uh, no, not willing to negotiate, uh, how is that going to help our economy going further? Thank you. Uh, my only point about... Uh, I don't believe that the cost of the war is that as I believe that our economic difficulties can be addressed. I also believe that by victory in Iraq, we can reduce those costs. We can also have the Iraqis pay more of, the own, of, the own, of their own expenses, including for construction and other projects. And we will do that. So. And again, the, 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 the greater sacrifice and the greater cost that it would entail as uh, by setting a date for withdrawal and have, have withdrawn, in my view, would have been inc incredibly higher, would have been incredibly higher. And I know it's a strain and a burden. And I know that people who have lost loved ones, particularly, you can never appreciate fully how, how difficult that is. And, so all I can say is that I believe that we are on the right track. And it was mishandled for nearly four years. I fought against that. I fought for the new strategy that succeeded. And I believe that I know how uh, 
to lead this nation uh, and no na national security issues. I thank you. And could I just say, ma'am, I, I know you have a very personal, I, I know for some reason you have a very personal involvement in this issue, and I hope that I was at least to some degree able to respond, if, if not satisfactorily, at least sincerely. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs>